First Lady Hillary Clinton made a stop at UConn tonight, right in the middle of a whole lot of speculation about whether or not she will run for president. And more than 2,000 people got to hear her speak tonight. News aide Stephanie Simone is live on campus tonight in stores. And what kind of reaction did Hillary Clinton get tonight, Stephanie? Hi, Ann and Darren. She got a great reaction, especially from Husky fans. The former Secretary of State gave her speech. Then she sat down with the president of the university who asked her questions about foreign policy and immigration. But there was one question in the room that never got asked. The former Secretary of State knows the best way to reach Husky fans basketball. You know, a seven seed playing in the final four. They say that never happens, but that's the kind of odds I personally like. And then, you know, winning, you just busted every bracket. And she wasn't done with compliments highlighting how the millennial generation, including here at UConn, is service oriented. UConn students participate in a wide range of community service projects. And I'm very proud that a number of UConn students have joined the Clinton Global Initiative University. In her speech, she said she wants to open more doors, particularly for women, spread access to education, and create jobs. I know it can't be done without young people in our country deciding they want to make a difference and that you have a chance now to prove you do. Let's make the millennial generation the participation generation. Then questions came from UConn's president, Susan Herbst, that she selected from students on Ukraine and immigration, but she never asked about a possible 2016 presidential run, just about what Clinton thinks about the current bipartisan political climate. Don't support people, I don't care whether they're Democrat, Republican, or Libertarian, who proudly say they do not believe in compromise. That is a recipe for gridlock, dysfunctionality. Lastly, Herbst handed the new grandmother to be a proper Yukon parting gift. So we know that she plans on wearing the title of grandmother. We just don't know if she's going to try to get that title as president. Uh, there was an awkward moment, a kind of funny moment, when the president said, I know what you guys want me to ask, but I'm not going to ask it. And then she asked a question about Edward Snowden. So I guess we're going to have to wait and see. For now, we are live in stores. Stephanie Simone, News 8.